call is from Malibu, Hawaii. Good morning. Go ahead, Hello. caller. Hello. Good morning. No, this is Malibu, California. Go ahead. Hi, um, I've called you before, and um, I, I'm I'm going to try to be really calm while I'm talking about this, but I have to say, um, this this regime is. I've I've been alive for eleven presidents. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Uh, I belong to an organization called Operation Helmet, and uh, these people, the so-called Christian Republicans, have sent the men and women of our armed forces into battle without the proper helmets. They don't even have the Kevlar inserts. I'd just like to read, if you would let me, read something from one of the soldiers. He said, hi, my name is... Corporal, I'm in the U.S. Um, Marines, 3rd Battalion, 4th Marines, Weapons Company. Um, thank you so much for this endeavor. It is truly great what you guys are doing. I've been in Iraq twice. We are slated to go back. Almost all of our senior guys have gotten out and are getting out. We have around 80% new guys in deployment. We do not have, uh, we don't have the armor for our, for our HMVs. We also have had to use um, old helmets, and we would tru truly appreciate it if you could donate this to our cause because there are so many men who are getting, um, there are so many men who are having um, head wounds, and we would appreciate it if you could please help us buy these inserts. And so I, I just don't understand how this government can send men into war without the proper helmets, without the proper armor for their, their, for their um, Humvees. Mm -hmm. And I've personally helped this Dr. Meade with this Operation Helmet gather $116,000 so, so that we could publicly do what the Army is not doing. I'm sorry that I'm emotional about this. But I'm just so pissed off at these people, I've finally just had enough of them. Well, how did Operation Helmet get underway, do you know? Because uh, Dr. Meade had a grandson, and he was saying that they were really nervous because they were actually having to use used helmets, and they had no Kevlar inserts. Mm -hmm. And the, the Army had said that they had run out of money for this particular thing. And you know that the, 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 worst, uh, the worst wounds are head wounds and amputations. And so I don't understand how our government, I mean, this president who claims to be a Christian, how can a Christian send people into harm's way and not make sure that they are properly taken care of? So, you know, if he believes in hell, I would be really nervous if I was him. And we just found the website. It's uh, operation-helmet.org. Yes. And your involvement in this? Well, I, I'm one of the don the people who've donated to it. And is this Cher? Yeah. Thank you for calling in again. This is the second or third time you phoned in. Yeah, because, you know, I just, you know, I know that I'm an entertainer, and I know that I'm from Hollywood, and I should not have no conscience. But, you know, I'm an American, and I just cannot bear these people for another moment. Do you think we will see more of you and others speaking out on the war? Well, actually, I have to go with Dr. Meade um, to to go to um, Congress. He has to go and meet them because somehow the Army seems to think that he is creating a breach between soldiers and the Army and, and not letting them have confidence, you know, in the Army. So he's having to meet with people of the Pentagon some, for some oversight committee, and he's quite nervous, mm -hmm. you know, because he's... He's just done all of this by himself. He's just a grandfather. When are you going to be in Washington? I think it's the 14th. Because what? he's so he's so nervous about going there. He's afraid of what they're going to do with him. And I, I actually, one of my best friends is Lou Dobbs. And so I'd called Lou to get some sort of preparation because I've never done this before, and I'm just going to be with him. Sure. And um, so, look, he's just a great man who's trying to do something for his grandson and his grandson said look i can't take the helmet inserts unless you can get it for all of you know the rest of my brothers and do you know how much these inserts cost they cost i think it's um 
$79 and $99. They're two different prices for the different size helmets. Well, when you're here on June 14th, why don't the two of you stop on by and uh, take some calls and uh, come on the Washington Journal? Okay. He's a very wonderful man. Okay. All right. Cher, thank you for calling back. We appreciate thank it. You. Keep watching. Next call is